Hey, what's up guys? It's Zach with KT Outdoors. And in today's episode, we're going to take a look at this little thing back here. Yeah, that's my computer. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite seed companies. That's coming up next. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for this episode here at KT Outdoors where we like to help you save money by sharing our method for generating local healthy food resources that continually build the soil that ultimately feeds you and your family. Let's dive into today's topic, which is which seed companies do we like to use? There are lots of choices out there in the market and we have found a few that we like over the years and I wanted to take a split second and show them to you now. All right, coming in first on our list is the Snake River Seed Cooperative. Um, now, I get this from a local nursery. It's actually Andrew's Feed and Seed in Ontario, Oregon, where I have seen these seeds available. And I included this one because it's a local seed company. And I wanted to start this list by encouraging you to find these types of local places where you can have your needs met without having to look for the big, huge brand name, you know, nationwide suppliers of seeds or whatever. We're going to talk about some of those, and they are all phenomenal. But do be aware that wherever you are in the world, there is probably some local company that is growing seeds in your climate and your area. And these seeds generally do a little bit better because they're acclimated to your specific growing conditions. So never underestimate the importance of finding a local source of seeds like I have here in the Snake River Seed Cooperative. Next on our list is Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Um, this is a really great seed company that has lots and lots of variety of vegetables in just all sorts of different types of things for you to buy. They have some great seed collections that they offer as well. They also have lots of plants. I'm, sh I'm sorry, plants. Duh, of course, a seed company has plants. Big surprise there. Um, lots of flowers, I should say. So if you're interested in putting in a cut flower garden or something like that. These guys have all sorts of different choices to hook you up with. And they're all heirloom seeds. So if having heirloom seeds are important to you so that you can save your seeds from season to season and build up your own reserve of seeds, then this is definitely a good choice to look at. Okay, the third one we have on our list is the Seed Savers Exchange. Now, I'm a big fan of the Seed Savers Exchange, mostly because I, I just love their stories that they have about their seeds. Almost every seed that you find is like, oh, this one was donated by so-and-so whose grandma grew it and brought it over from Germany or the old world or, you know, whatever. Like, they just have so many fun backstories on where these seeds came from. They do a great nonprofit and just do all sorts of things to help the gardening effort. So I really enjoy supporting a company like this. And they have so many amazing heirloom type seeds and different plants that you can only get from them that just have an amazing quality. I've never been disappointed in any of the seeds. And actually these guys, similar to the last one, that we talked about the Baker Creek Company. This was one of the seed companies that I was introduced to when I first started gardening with my students at my local school where I teach. And, you know, we were looking for seed companies to donate to help with our gardening efforts. And these people, along with a number of other folks, sent out just mountains of seeds, it seemed like, to let us get growing with some of their old seeds that they weren't able to sell, which was really nice to get us off and running with what ended up being a pretty fun gardening effort out there. So anyway, great seed company. Love what these guys have to offer. Definitely check out the Seed Savers Exchange. One of the next seed companies that I really, really enjoy is the Territorial Seed Company. This one's 
a little bit close to home being here in Eastern Oregon as Territorial is headquartered in Cottage Grove, Oregon, which is over by Eugene. If you're familiar with the University of Oregon area, that's where this seed company is. And I absolutely love their YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can go and check out their YouTube channel. They put out some awesome videos. And I actually I just love the guy's accent in, in all of the videos. He's just so fun to watch. And if you're interested in some technical resources to help you with your garden planning, this garden planner that you see kind of advertised right there on their screen, I have used the demo version. It is absolutely phenomenal. I haven't pulled the trigger yet on it myself, but I am seriously debating doing it, especially since they just released in their YouTube channel some new updates that they made to their garden planner. Like It is one of the most complete garden planners I have ever seen. So if you're interested in some technological resources to help you plan your garden, this is a great place to look. I love the whole organic vibe that they have. Like when you get their seed catalog, if you order it, I like to have the paper ones just because I like to look through them. But a lot of their packaging and everything is compostable because they understand, you know, the whole organic vibe that a lot of us growing like to have. And so literally, this is a seed company that can feed your soil, which is a huge thing that we're into here at KT Outdoors. They actually collect and compost all of their unused seed catalogs or the ones that don't get shipped out or whatever they shred them up and use them to feed their worms and their worm farms that they maintain they have all sorts of tools and other fun stuff beyond just the seeds like this is starting to get into you know one of the big time growers um, supply type stuff like you can get all sorts of things here their website is definitely worth looking at and just really really like this seed company so by all means consider supporting the territorial seed company okay last and by far the most commonly referenced site for me is Johnny select seeds now I'm sure I probably heard about Johnny's from Curtis Stone or some other market gardener that I was watching because Johnny's transcends a lot of these ones that I've referenced for you before are very much geared towards more of the casual grower, the backyard gardener, etc. Johnny's will certainly cater to those people, but they are much more set up for large scale growing of produce. So you will find lots of tools and resources that are designed to help market gardeners specifically produce lots and lots of food. If you've seen any sort of YouTube videos on market gardening, I almost guarantee you that the people that you're watching are getting their tools, their seeds, and a lot of stuff from Johnny's. Now, I specifically, every year without fail, buy Salanova lettuce seeds from this company. In fact, I ordered some over a month ago already and it's mid-January of 2021. And I did it because you can't, you couldn't get them last year. Like they were completely out of stock when it was time to order them, you know, at the start of the growing season. And, and what they did have was only like huge volumes intended for like legit farming market garden type operations that would be planting hundreds and hundreds of lettuce seeds not the kinds of packages that you would want for a small like home garden. So amazing company, amazing tools, tons of resources. I, I have soil blockers that I got from Johnny's that I use for seed starting. There's just a wealth of knowledge on their website, let alone seeds that, that you cannot get anywhere else. Like the Selenova lettuce that is on here. I know I'm ranting and raving about it because it seriously is that epic. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I have some other videos on this channel about it. Like, go and watch and see how amazing Salano lettuce is because it is just one of those things that when you discover it, you just kind of go, wow, I can't believe that I didn't know about this or haven't been growing this before. And look at how, like, you see as I scroll through here all the different varieties there is. There's just tons and tons of stuff. I just... 
such a good seed company. So anyway, this is a great resource. Make sure that you take a look at it if you are looking for things to get your garden going this year. Well, there you have it, guys. My list of some of my favorite seed companies. They're certainly not the only ones that I use. I am honestly never opposed to being at Home Depot or even Walmart or someplace like that and picking up some seeds just to have some extras on hands. Especially when things are getting interesting, it's just nice to have those resources available. So that's probably the bonus tip at the end of the video, right? Is there's already seeds at my local Home Depot and it's January 1st. So, you know, start getting them now because here's the ultimate point of this whole video, which is why I'm releasing it now, the second week of January, 2021. Get your seeds early. If you wait until April or May to try to get seeds to grow for the season, they're going to be picked over. They're going to be hard to find. You're just not going to have as easy a time as you will have right now. So plan ahead, get growing, get some things going because, hey, even though I can't be out there because it's cold and I'm a big weenie, I'm still thinking about it because life's better when it's lived outdoors. We'll see you next time.